Welcome to Unlocking Books, where you learn business fast from the summaries of the greatest books on business and success. Uh, let join us as we continue with the summary of Personal MBA by Josh Kaufman. In the last episode, we saw how you can create something of value, that is something people need or want, by connecting with the core human drives. There are 12 forms of value or 12 business models and in each business model you will learn what is important or crucial that helps the business to stay afloat. If you produce goods, tangible or intangible, like consumer goods or an internet file, it is critical to keep the cost of production at a minimum without sacrificing the quality of the product and sell it at a maximum price possible. And always keep an inventory ready for orders. In service, because individual talent and skill is a limited product and cannot be made in a factory, you should charge enough to compensate for that. If it is subscription, you get a revenue that is fixed at the end of the billing period. As you increase the number of sub new subscribers, you have to retain the old subscribers. In shared resource, customers pay to share the experience of your asset. You have to maintain the quality of that experience while increasing the number of paying customers. You can also offer value in the form of resale. In resale, you have to have a good relation with the supplier because having or buying goods of good quality at a low price is critical to maintain or to sustain the business. In lease, where your asset is leased out to paying customers for a limited period, cover the price at which you bought the asset before the deposition of the asset makes it unusable. As an agent in an agency business, you have to be dedicated to complete each transaction between buyers and sellers. In audience aggregation, where audience or a group of people with a shared interest is a huge asset for some other business, you can gather such a group and sell access to that group to the business, but do so without alienating the group itself. You can also offer value in the form of loan, where how you calculate the risk is very important and keep a security in case the loan goes sour. Options or flexibility is another form of value, where customers pay now to use the service or facility at a later date within validity. Insurance businesses stay in profit by spreading the risk over a large base of customers. If you are a venture capitalist or buy shares in the share market, you are an investor, then you are offering value in the form of capital. You can always improve and add more value to your offer to command a higher revenue. Remove hassle and decrease customers involvement or end user involvement as much as possible. People care about how they are perceived by their society. So if you can add social signals that better their, personal, their social perception, then it increases the value without changing the original offer. You can also bundle offers, that is, give combined offers which are tailor-made for your customers and add value without making or creating a new offer. This process of regularly, incrementally improving value is, may appear to be time-consuming or tedious, but it has huge dividends in the long run. You can iterate, that is, go back to asking very critical questions 
that will help you get better answers and make better decisions. Decisions like what seems to be working and what may need some change or improvement. And create that change, see the improvement, measure the impact and come back with some important lessons. You don't have to invest a lot of time, energy and money to add value to your offer, but you can do a shadow testing, that is create a prototype, a very small model or interface of your offer that just allows the customer to understand a benefit and allow the customer to order or buy. This is much better than asking a customer what they want because for one thing customers do not know what they want till they have to tick off one benefit over the other which is called trade-off and for another customers want everything and you cannot give everything to everybody. Shadow testing even if it fails that is a customer rejects your offer is very important because you can learn what a customer really prefers and what are the barriers to purchase. After creating value, how do you attract the attention of buyers? Because in today's world, everybody has filters to screen out unwanted information. Businesses invest huge amounts of time, energy and money to get past these filters and catch the attention of their prospective buyers. Be in the right medium. If your prospective buyer is not open or not receptive to the medium, then you cannot catch their attention. Be focused. Focus or highlight on the key benefits over the key features. Customers want to know in the shortest time as possible that what it does for me rather than what it is or how many features it has. Be desirable. Since desire is a huge force behind purchase, try and make your communication as desirable with emotional cues, sensorial cues or other cues that make it very appealing. Be disruptive. Our psychology is keyed to pick up any disruption in the environment. So whenever you break the norm, you deviate from the norm, you catch attention of your prospective buyers. Be catchy. If your message is short and focused, it catches attention and remember, it is remembered better. So a tagline, a punchline makes it more memorable. Because marketing is a huge investment of time, energy and money, make sure that you are catching the attention of your ideal customer who appreciates you, the value you offer and is willing to pay for it. Be in the right time and place. When your prospective buyer gets first interested in your category, they are open to offers more than at any other point of time. And usually the first offer they come across becomes the golden standard against which they compare all other offers. So try to catch the attention of your prospective buyer at their point of market entry and the chances of completing a transaction will be higher. Some customers are not easily accessible or too widely dispersed or do not want to come out with their needs. In that case, you have to catch the attention of their influencers or decision makers, for example, caretakers, therapists, medical practitioners, and other. Connecting with a core human desire is key to the success of any marketing. Help your prospective buyers imagine the benefit with visual cues or emotional or sensorial or audio cues. Give a short call to action, a small and easy step for customers to take immediately after they come across your communication. 
ask for permission to follow up either on phone or email. This opens up a whole new channel of communication and interaction with your prospective buyers. Tell a story. We all love to hear our own story of how we overcome challenges and our self-doubts and finally resolve a problem. So testaments strike a chord with most prospective buyers when they can identify themselves with the situation. Be controversial when it is good to take a stand on issues and be in discussions. Also brand reputation. Brand reputation is not always in the hands of the business itself. It is decided by time and how people respond over the years to your offers. But brand reputation is irreplaceable marketing device. So friends, this was a short episode on marketing. Tell us how you liked this episode in the comment section below. And if you have not already done so, subscribe to Unlocking Books and save time, energy and money by focusing on what is important in business and success.